Hey, good morning. Good morning, all. One love. This is your man, LaVon. Just coming back again with your Monday motivational message. And today's message is going to be on anxiety. You know, I had my cousin, um, she posted this morning and asked, was asking for prayer for anxiety. And I thought, you know what, Lord, you've given me a word about that. Let me go ahead and share that with the people this morning. So this morning's Monday motivational message will be dealing with anxiety. But before we get into the message, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel to grow. Please hit that like button, hit that share button because it doesn't cost you anything. It only takes a few seconds to hit like, hit share, and hit the subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified upon my next video upload. Lamelli E to if you're new to my channel, which means love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. On this channel, we're all about being positive and enlightening and bringing positivity and God's word to a dying and dark world. So in talking about anxiety, right? Anxiety is worry, right? And we know that the Bible says worry is a sin, right? Um, worry leads to doubt, right? We know what the Bible says, doubt is sin, right? And doubt leads to unbelief or disbelief. And we know unbelief or disbelief is what? Sin, right? So this is why... Bible says, be anxious for nothing. You know, Philippians uh, 4, 6 and 7, it tells us to be anxious for nothing. You dig? Look, anxiety is like, uh, uh, if I could give an analogy, right? It's like, um, it's like walking on ice. Right? It's like walking on ice, but it's thin ice. Right. So anxiety is like walking on thin ice. Right. And the ice has got cracks in it. Some of the cracks are fresh. And the sun is coming up in 30 minutes. And you got to get from point A to point B. Who, who wants to live like that? Right. Who can live like that? Right. I mean, every day living like you walking on ice. You know, and it's got cracks in it. And some of them is fresh. I mean, you can see it's, it's quick, right? And then you see the sun is coming up and you got about 30 minutes to get from here to there. And you already got to take your time. You got to watch where you step. You got, you got 30 minutes. Who wants to live like that? Nobody wants to live under that kind of pressure, right? And, and, and it's that kind of pressure and it's that kind of stress that causes us to age quickly, that causes us, you know, to lose our teeth and, and, and high blood pressure and heart problems and, you know, all, it leads to all kinds of things, that kind of anxiety and, and living with that, um, especially on a daily basis. I, I couldn't imagine living with that on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? But just going through that, um, weekly or every now and again, it's, we were not designed to handle anxiety. That's why it specifically, you know, says, look, man, lay that stuff down, put that stuff down. You know, you don't need to carry that. Look, Jesus said in Matthew, right? Um, oh my gosh, what was it? It was, um, Matthew 11, I believe. Matthew 11, verse 28, right? He says, come unto me. All. Not some, not few, not, not only by special invitation, not, uh, you know, meeting A through Z. He says, come unto me. Why? Because you need a savior. You can't do this without me. You can try. And you go ahead and I, and I have give you free will to do it, but it's not going to end well for you. But I'm telling you, come unto me. Who? Not just the Jews, not just the whites, not the blacks, not the uh, Christians, not the, you know, Muslims. Not, all that are heavy or all that labor or all that are weary, right? And are heavy laden or heavy burdened 
or that, are, that are, you're carrying more than you can bear. Come unto me, right? And I'll do what? I will give you rest. Because you can't bear the anxiety. You can't bear the weight. You can't carry it. But oh so long before your body starts breaking down. You start getting sick. And you die. Facts. Right? So come unto me. He says all you that have laden. Right? I'll give you rest. He says what? First. Take my yoke. See, come unto me. And I'll give you rest. So take all that burden. Take all that crap you can. Put it down. Now put on my yoke. See how much lighter that is? Huh? See how it, 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 it's not breaking you down and tearing you down and telling you all that you're not and tell you how you ain't good enough and you ain't ever going to be. See how much lighter it is? See how much easier it is? My yoke upon you. My yoke of confidence. My yoke of power. My yoke of anointing. My yoke of freedom. My yoke that I will always be there in the time of need, in the time of trouble, that I'll be a, a, a shelter, you know, my yoke. And then when you take my yoke upon you, learn of me, right? It ain't going to be overnight. It ain't going to be just like quick, fast and hurry. You're going to have to learn of me, right? Okay, so I don't know how more straightforward I can put it. We were not designed to carry stress. We were not designed to hold stress. We were not designed to, you know, um, uh, walk around and, and and we weren't designed to do that in our, our in our mental capacity, in our body, in our spirit. We weren't designed to do that. That's why God said, "Give it to Him," right? Give it to Him. Put all our stuff at the foot of the cross and don't pick it back up. You know, put it at the foot of the cross when he any when he when he heals you and he frees you and he relieves you of that burden. Take his yoke and bounce and be giving him praise and thank him for it. Oh, I'm so glad I got rid of that, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Why? Because his yoke is going to help give you power and anointing and lead you and direct you and guide you. His yoke. You won't have to worry about walking on thin ice. You won't have to worry about, oh, the sun is coming up and I ain't got enough time. No, that's not how it, it goes down. He's going to be there with you every step of the way. You got to trust and believe that, right? <laughs> um, when you make the decision to give your anxiety to Christ and leave it at the foot of the cross and take his yoke upon you, what you're doing is you are saying, I believe that this yoke, God, that you have asked me to take upon myself is going to be all sufficient. Everything I need in you, I have. I don't need to, you know, I don't need to look to the world. I don't need to look to this system. I don't need to look to that one or this one because in you is all sufficiency. Right. Um, Second Corinthians nine, chapter eight, verse, I believe it says that in me is all sufficiency. Right. That I will I will I will cause, uh, you know, he, he will cause his grace to abound. Around us, do you, I mean, do you really get. He will cross cause his grace, his unmerited favor, to be abundant or to abound or to overflow. And all that we have is in him. All that we need is in him. All sufficiency. Sufficiency means what's necessary, what's needed, what what is sufficient to adequately get the job accomplished. So if that's what sufficiency means, what's needed, um, you know, um, what's necessary, uh, what, what is sufficient or 
enough to complete what needs to be done. So if he has all in front of su sufficiency, if he has all sufficiency, come on, man. There's no reason for us to walk around and be carrying all this anxiety and stress and, and, and be worrying about all this. Come on, man. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be cool, right? So this is your man, LaVon, just leaving y'all with some words of encouragement that you can handle your business if you trust God, believe God, don't worry, and don't stress. So I just want to say thank you again for tuning in this morning to Monday's motivational message with your man, LaVon, on anxiety, right? I would like to ask that if you would please subscribe to my channel. It really helps get the content out to those that uh, may not otherwise get it or know it. You know, it'll help the algorithm get out to more people. I really want to help the channel to grow so people can get a hold of this positive content and hopefully it can make some changes. It can do some uplifting, some motivating, some inspiring. You know, people will feel loved and they'll want to laugh and they'll be encouraged and then want to enlighten others to come to the channel and hear the best. You feel me? So I really appreciate if you guys would subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification so you're always notified upon my next video upload. You know, share this with somebody, with friends and family. Like the video. It helps the channel. Please go to my Instagram and support my Instagram channel at LaVon Says. So anyway, remember, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. LaMelee.com. Go get your merch. The website is up, and I appreciate the love. This is a black-owned business, and we're trying to motivate and encourage positivity in a dark time. Your man, LaVon, I'm out.